This is the Jocko Underground Podcast number 69 sitting here with EC, Echo Charles. Yes. Echo Charlie. Sure. Sometimes referred to. That me, Jocko Willink. Uh, so we're going to talk about choking. But normally we talk about choking, we're talking about the jujits, yeah. right? That's yeah. our, that sure. When we think of choking, that's what we think of. But there's another form of choking, and that's when the chips are down. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The stakes are high. The stakes are high. Choking in sports or in any kind of event. You know, you can choke in a debate. You can choke in a confrontation with someone, an argument. But it's a, what it is is failing to perform as one is expected to perform based on how they have performed in the past and the skill level that they have. Mm. So, because here's the thing. If someone loses, or if someone who loses all the time or isn't that good, doesn't make any goals, and now they miss a game-winning shot, right. that's not that's not choking. Yeah, yeah. That's just true. Yeah, that's just someone that sucks, <laughs> right? <laughs> but when someone is good, and someone does perform well, and they do score goals, and they do that historically and consistently, and, and then that moment comes for them to make that game-winning shot, mm-hmm. and they miss it, <clears throat> That's choking. Brutal. Happens in every sport. Happens in uh, basketball, right? Especially foul shots. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I do. My uh, one of my best friends in the Derbs. He yeah. was. He was in, playing in like the. He was either. I think it was the state finals. Mm. And he and he had a foul shot to make for the win, and he he missed the finals. <laughs> he missed it, and mm. they lost. Field goals in football, bro. JV, we're playing against Waimea. Cake Nuts was the kicker for Waimea, by the way. Mm-hmm. Our Cake Nuts. So you guys are on opposing teams. Opposing teams, and they're better than us, straight mm-hmm. up. But we held them to zero zero the Ooh, whole game. Nice. So they had the ball last play of the game, one second left. Field goal time for them. Cake, Cake nuts. nuts runs up on the field, I'm like looking at this guy. And Cake Nuts is good. He's and good, you guys are friends kicker. right now. At yeah. this point, at that point, at in that time, point, we you were friends. Friends, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, for sure. Not, I mean, not as much as we were like, uh, you know, in, later in, on. Late, yeah. This is JV time. Mm-hmm. Actually, we weren't friends. Okay, I didn't meet him till, like, I met, I knew him, yeah. but uh, we didn't become friends. Friends till tenth grade. Okay. So, um, so yeah, he runs over the fields, cake melts with his little run. He used to play for Hana Pepe too, by the way, which is in Pop Warner. Anyway, so he gets up on there, he lines up, freaking, and it wasn't that far of a field goal. It like was like 20 maybe yards? not even 15 oh. maybe. Yeah, so he gets on there and bro, he kicks it, makes it. Oh, he made it. Did not choke. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. But I thought he was going to choke. I would because, you know, like it was so poetic. They were supposed to beat us so bad. Yeah. He didn't choke though. King nuts for the win. Hunting. Archery. <laughs> you, this is a this is a total like this will be revealed. Yeah. To use Echo Charles' second favorite word, revealed. Sure. You're, you know, you, there's guys, you shoot, you go out and shoot your bow, 70, 80, 90, 100 yards, 110 yards. Yeah. Just out there, you're just dialed in. Yeah. Hitting that, me and Josh Hall. Sure. Josh Hall and I have the, gotta hit that paper plate at 60 yards every time, mm-hmm. right? So that's where, that's where you're at. Yeah. And if you can hit a paper plate at 60 yards, you should be able to hit that elk in the kill zone at yeah. 60 yards. Yeah. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, a guy will come out, they'll go out and they'll miss at 30 yards. Yeah. You know, it is it is tough. And there's all kinds. So what's causing that? You got heightened anxiety. There's adrenaline going through. So you got, you got the chemical cocktail that could be going through your system. Mm-hmm. You got the, the anxiety. You got, could have the negative thoughts like, if I miss... You might be worrying about things that you can't control. You might be over processing all the things that are happening. You got one thing to think about. Yeah. You got the social expectations. Yeah. Right? Like you're if there's a crowd, I mean, what about when the crowd's there? Yeah. Right? Everyone's watching. Yeah. Where I go hunting normally, like everybody knows. Like you come back to camp and everybody knows what happened. <laughs> <laughs> there's no hiding it. Yeah. Uh, so those are the kind of things that can cause problems, yeah. right? That can cause you to choke. Now, what's interesting is there is 
something called the individual zones of optimal functioning. And that is, what that means is in certain amount of stress is good mm-hmm. because you have to focus more. Like, ah, here's, here's one. Um, I, most of the time, surf without a leash, mm. without a rope. Leashes are for dogs. Well. Right. I don't know. No, <laughs> not just for dogs, but, you know. So here's the thing. When, when I, this is one of those things that, you know, there's certain things that you can feel, like you can actually feel them. Like, let, let's say, what do you, like, let's say you work on a computer a lot, right? Sure. If your computer's lagging, yes. like, you'll notice it. Yeah, I yeah. probably I wouldn't notice it. I understand. Yeah. I would, if I was trying to do something, I wouldn't notice it. Yeah. Because you're so good at working your computer that you're going to notice yeah. when it's lagging. Yeah. So, when you can actually identify something, I actually feel like when I'm surfing and I don't have a leash on. Yeah. Actually, I feel it more when I when I if I have a leash on, I'm like kind of you just feel this like crazy carefree like I'll just do whatever, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. feel a lot looser and a lot less focused. When you're yeah. out on a big day with no rope, yeah. you your shit is tight. Dude. Yeah. You are focused. Yeah, you have to be because yeah. if you blow it, your board's gone. Yeah, you may you might have to swim for it. You may lose it. This is you may never see it again. Yeah. So that. That that's what you want a certain amount of stress in the scenario. So, how the, the question is like, how do we overcome choking? Mm. What can we do? What can we do to stop that? Well, obviously, detach, take. <laughs> you can't get all caught up in your head. Breath, take a breath, mm-hmm. right? Breathe. <sighs> Take a breath, man. Calm down. You got to calm down. Mm. Here's another critical thing. Have a protocol. Mm. Like a protocol. When we would learn to shoot, we would, some some guys would make like a little ditty. Is that word? Is that a civilian word? Does anybody know what that means? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like a little thing. Like a little, say a little it's, like it a, doesn't rhyme, but it's yeah, like a, a certain. Little, little chant. Yeah, little a little jingle, chant. A little something. I When I first started archery, I had it. Oh, for real? You know, I, I mean, I definitely had it for shooting before, mm. but the most recent little ditty that I had was for archery. Mm. And it was just like, I went through the whole, you know, starting at my feet, I was like, feet in position, and I went all the way up to like pinky on the, I, I would touch my, to keep my front hand, You believe it or not, when you shoot a bow, mm. your front hand is like loose. You don't grip, because uh. then that torques the bow. So you're yeah. front, So I'd be like pinky touch, and I would just like touch my pinky onto the, onto the bow itself because I knew that if I went to touch it and I was gorilla gripping, I'd be like, oh, you're gorilla. So, yeah, yeah. so, you, so you make these little ditties huh. and they will, they will help you um, with that. And, and look, you can also have things that are protocols, like when someone goes take a foul shot in basketball. Mm-hmm. Did you play basketball? No. So I played basketball, you know, you go out and I had like, if it was a foul shot, I'd have my little like spin the ball, bounce, yeah. spin the ball, bounce, 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 Mm -hmm. shoot. So you have a little protocol that you're going through. That's really good. Uh, What can you do to put yourself in pressure situations? Because the more you get into pressure situations, the better you can be in handling them. That's when I was running SEAL training. It was like, we're going to put you in insane pressure situations, mayhem situations. And you're going to start to learn how to do these things. And of course, practicing. Which is because a lack of confidence can trigger you to choke because you lack confidence and you choke. How do you get more confident? You get good. You practice. The more you practice, the more your confidence increases. Even doing mental rehearsals of what you're going to do is going to help out. Uh, I would say I, I, we heard, I heard this originally that it had to do with Tiger Woods coach, Tiger Woods mental coach. Mm. And his thing was, it's not your last shot. You can't think about your last shot. You can't think about your next shot. You just have to like clear your mind and think about this shot right here. Mm. Where this becomes very evident is if you're shooting drills, like pistol, Mm. and you're shooting six head plates. If you miss one of those, this is where you see where a guy's head is at, right? Mm. Because he goes, he goes ping, 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 bang, and like miss. Mm-hmm. So it's like hit, 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 miss. A guy, guy that's good, just no factor, takes another shot at that target, moves right on down the line, mm-hmm. no factor. But you'll see sometimes, guys, it's just everything falls apart. It's mm-hmm. like hit, 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 miss, 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 
miss, mag change. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, oh my God. <laughs> so that that is one of the things that I think really applies. That is a little excerpt of what we are doing on the Jocko Underground podcast. So if you want to continue to listen, go to jockounderground.com and subscribe. And we're doing this to mitigate our reliance on external platforms so we are not subject to their control. And we're doing it so we can give you more control, more interaction, more direct connections, better communications with us strengthen this legion of troopers that are in the game with us so thank you it's jockounderground.com it costs eight dollars and 18 cents a month and if you can't afford to support us we can still support you just email assistance at jockounderground.com and we'll get you taken care of until then we will see you mobilized underground